Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So tonight's video is about this brand new oscillator. So this is a small oscillator and uh, I just put this up on my website. I've got a half inch starboard, full circuit, full coil. Uh, it comes with wires and a fuse, transistor. And um, so what we're going to be doing is testing this out a little bit. Um, I also have the circuit for sale on the website, which is this one, which is identical. And um, as you can see, there's quite a bit of copper on the back. So this is actually 12 gauge solid copper. That way it um, helps as a heat sink and transmit the, the charging energy much better. So um, what's nice about these circuits instead of a PCB is if for some reason you put these wires connected to the battery backwards or something like that um, this could get the diode could get damaged or uh, if you damage the transistor you know all its three screws this you could just pop out resolder it on the back you know no big deal um, a lot nicer than PCB and um, it's all fiberglass so it's not even plastic this is actually the fiberglass version so it's quite nice so what we're going to do here is set this up here. We're going to hook this thing up and do a little test run with it. So, um, this oscillator was designed for batteries like this. This is a 3 amp hour, uh, this is a 12 amp hour, and um, then we just have a little 7 amp hour that's going to be powering it. And um, this battery is setting at uh, 13, 14, and then we'll hook this right here onto here. So, for those of you that aren't familiar with the force oscillator, um, it's actually exactly the same as the Bedini circuit, except the negative wire that usually goes um, to ground on the trigger wire, the smaller of the two, um, that negative wire gets connected to the positive side of the coil. So you'll have the small one connected right here. So, so if you look, you can see these two wires are connected together. And then this is the trigger wire um, that's going to be triggering this. So uh, this is a 1K resistor and then 1K resistor. So we're using 2K total. And the green wire is the trigger, the gold wire is the, the power for it. And then we have a, a, a neon bulb right here that lets you know if something's not connected. And uh, yeah, this is a 200 watt Toshiba 2SC5200 transistor. So. That one works really good. So let's just hook this up to this battery. This is the 3.3 amp hour. And um, you can see it's sitting at 12.29. So I've been running it down so we could do these experiments. And um, this is rated at a half an amp. You'll be able to see that right here. So let's hook up this. So the scope, the negative side goes on to the negative side of the coil, um, which is the center lead of the transistor, and then the positive goes to the positive battery. So we'll be able to see that. So let's fire it up. So, as you can see, the voltage is climbing pretty quick. So there's the waveform. And um, on the waveform, these are the negative spikes coming down and then this is actually a positive spike so each square is is on um, 10 volts on the scale so 10 12 and then this comes up and then this is what we're using the charge battery right here at the bottom so this is on the 20 20 microsecond scale and then um, we could check the Hertz on this Let's see what these are so if you're using a cap dump, um, the frequency could vary. But just straight to the battery, we're 12.7 kilohertz. So it's got really good frequency. And um, you can see how, how that smaller battery reacts to this. So we're only using a half an amp. It's actually less than half an amp. We're 450 milliamps right now so for those of you that can't see this is what we're at right now 450 milliamps here's the battery coming up 
So this one charges these batteries fairly quickly. Um, yeah, this does not have a shut off, so you actually you need to monitor these batteries as you're charging them up. And um, yeah, so you can see that charges pretty quick. So what we're going to do now is turn this off, and uh, we're going to hook this up to a bigger battery. So this battery, this is a 12 amp hour. So the, the white's the negative and yellow's the positive, like on all of my machines, to separate the input from the output. And then we'll turn this on. So this can be used with a cap dump or without. And obviously a much bigger battery. And uh, to give you an idea what's kind of coming into this battery, I hook up these lights right here. So let's turn this off. So now what I'm doing is these are 210 watt, 210 watt LEDs and they're soldered into series. So when we turn this on, this is going from the charger through the LEDs and then back to the battery. So, give you an idea of what's going in the battery. These are like blinding bright. So even when it seems like it's not charging very much, it um, still has a lot of lot of energy. Those are 210 watts, and we're using right around six watts to do this. So it's pretty neat. So we'll fire this back up. So this is basically charging with just the spikes, just the negative spikes. And um, so to give you an idea what kind of voltage comes out of this little thing, uh, what I'm going to do is put this onto, this is 10 times scale, and then we need to lift this up, lift this up to uh, right there to 20. And then what I'm going to do is disconnect this you'll be able to see how much voltage is on there so 100, 200, 300, 400, 450 volts and this is glowing bright so you don't really want to do that because eventually you'll damage your transistor but it's kind of neat to know um, what what it's actually putting out so as that's going. So what we're going to do now is we're going to hook up the cap dump to it so you guys could get an idea of how it works on the cap. So I have this cap dump that I made and these are on my store too. So this is this is uh, eight capacitors, um, 10,000 each at 25 volts. So we have 80,000 on here. And then we'll just hook this bad boy up right here. So with the bigger batteries, you could use this cap dump, but the, the smaller ones, I wouldn't suggest that this shouldn't use a cap dump. Unless you have it at a really low level. So we have this hooked up. It's set for 18 volts on the cap dump. Now we're going to fire this little guy up. So as you can see the, the amperage climbs up to a half an amp just a hair over with the cap dump because as you're charging the frequency is changing. So this is what we're doing right now. So we're about four and a half on the scale there, almost five, so probably six to seven amps if you could actually measure it properly. And um, here's our voltage coming up. And so quite a bit of power going in there, and we're, we're still using half an amp. So, yeah. So you could charge this 
directly the negative spikes or you could use a cap dump to convert it to amperage and charge your batteries so yeah pretty neat little device don't forget to check my store kenergy.store thanks for watching